In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Friends, as we continue our Easter celebrations, let's pause to call to mind our sins and ask for the Lord's forgiveness and peace. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that celebrating the mysteries of the Lord's resurrection, we may merit to receive the joy of our redemption. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Those who had been scattered by the persecution that arose because of Stephen went as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch, preaching the word to no one but Jews. There were some Cypriots and Cyrenians among them, however, who came to Antioch and began to speak to the Greeks as well, proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number who believed turned to the Lord. The news about them reached the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to go to Antioch. When he arrived, he saw the grace of God. He rejoiced and encouraged them all to remain faithful to the Lord in firmness of heart. For he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit in faith. And a large number of people was added to the Lord. Then he went to Tarsus to look for Saul. And when he found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year they met with the church and taught a large number of people. And it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All you nations, praise the Lord. All, All you, you nations, nations praise, praise the Lord. Lord. His foundation upon the holy mountains the Lord loves. The gates of Zion, more than any dwelling of Jacob, glorious things are said of you, O city of God. All, All you nations, nations praise, praise the Lord. Lord. I tell of Egypt and Babylon, among those who know the Lord of Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia. This man was born there. And of Zion they shall say, one and all were born in her. And he who has established her is the most high Lord. All, all you nations, nations praise, praise the Lord. Lord. They shall note when the peoples are enrolled. This man was born there. And all shall sing in their festive dance, My home is within you. All, all you nations, nations praise, praise the Lord. Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. Lord. The feast of the dedication was taking place in Jerusalem. It was winter, and Jesus walked about in the temple area on the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, How long are you going to keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. 
And Jesus answered them, I told you, and you do not believe. The works I do in my Father's name testify to me, but you do not believe because you are not my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one can take them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all and no one can take them out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. The conclusion of, of yesterday's first reading from the Acts of the Apostles was that the community rejoiced that life-giving repentance had been offered to the Gentiles also. That is, it's beginning to creep into the minds of the apostles that the gift of new life is now not exclusively offered to the Jewish community, but to the entire world. Today, that begins to play out, this idea of life-giving repentance being offered to essentially anyone in the room. And, and when you and I think about repentance, we, we tend to think about that almost exclusively as regards to our relationship with, with sin or transgressions, right? It's turning away from that. But what the first reading makes clear today is that repentance is a orientation towards someone, and that's to Jesus. Um, that repentance is a movement towards Jesus, towards the Lord's will, towards the Lord's desire for me. And if you and I can remember that in the Easter season, it probably makes repentance a little easier to swallow. The idea that repentance is a turn towards the one who wants me, who loves me, who desires my company. It sweetens the pot. So uh, brothers and sisters, uh, may you and I rejoice truly that life-giving repentance is offered to the world now through the gift of the Christ. And that that's not simply a rejection of sin, but it's an orientation towards the one who made us and loves us. Brothers and sisters, please stand as we offer our needs and intentions. For Francis, our Pope, for James, our Bishop, for all the clergy and lay faithful, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those in public office, that in the promotion of the common good, they uphold the divine and natural law, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who are suffering hardships and trials, that the Lord graciously grant them relief, and for the repose of the souls of the faithful departed, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here today, and for all our parish community, that we may grow in faith, hope, and charity, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And today we pray especially for firefighters, for whom this Mass is offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, as we continue our Easter journey, we rejoice that the gift of life-giving repentance is offered to the entire world. Hear and answer these prayers and uh, give us renewed confidence that we can turn from evil ways towards your Son who desires our company, our love, and our friendship. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May I accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven and earth are, are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you You take take away away the sins of the world, world. have Have mercy mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take take away away the sins of the world, have Have mercy mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take take away away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy worthy that you should enter enter under my roof, roof, but only only say the word, word, and my soul soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let the Mass of them that go forth in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.